Hello, and welcome back to my Honda CRX restoration. Since you were here last, I have finished the seam sealing, welded up some pullers and pulled the damaged frame rail back into line. I was going to cut the frame rail off and replace it with an undamaged one from a donor vehicle, but it turns out that pulling it was possible, so that's the route I went. I also went ahead and welded all of the repair sections into the rear panel, as well as doing more rust treatment, slash prevention and seam sealing. I also went ahead and prepped and primed the engine bay as well, as that's a very long and tedious job. And with that, we are back up to date. Now what I'm going to do is get all of the paint removed from the shell and then we can start to do some body working. Well that was a very very messy job, but it's all done now and the CRX looks really cool in bare metal, but now the race is on to get the bodywork sorted before the flash rust sets in.
Before rubbing down the filler, I need to apply a light guide coat so that I can see the low and high spots. Well, that's one dent gone. Now to crack on with the rest of them. I'm using some stopper here to fill in any tiny pinholes that I find in the filler. It's an extremely soft and easy sanding filler and only used for pinholes. With the stopper dry, I sand off the excess using a foam contour pad so as not to affect the flatness or body lines I have achieved in the filling stage. Now it's time to finally cover up all of that bare steel with a nice coat of high build primer that I can flat back later on and leave us with a super smooth surface ready for top coating. To give the underside of the car maximum protection from the elements, as well as replicating the original textured finish, I always turn to Raptor Liner. You may remember me using it on the underside of my white GC8, and I'm very happy to say that 4 years later it's still lovely and white and totally rust free, so it's more than adequate for the CRX too.
Well, the Prime and Under Seal are done, and it's almost midnight, so I think I'll call it a day and start fresh again tomorrow. Now that looks awesome, but still not quite good enough for RRC. So let's do a quick bit of flatting in the engine bay and then move on to the next step. Now for most people the fact that the underseal is black would be good enough, but this is an RRC restoration and good enough just won't cut it. So I'll be painting the Raptor liner with the same colour the body will be, and that is flint black. And there we have it, one CRX underside and engine bay looking as good as new. It's at this stage of the restoration I start to get really excited, as the end result is starting to take shape. I know there is months and months of hard work left to do until we see it in all its glory, but it's nice to see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. So for this ending sequence, I thought it would be fun to have a quick look back and see how far the project has came so far. And as always, a massive thank you goes out to all of my supporters on Patreon, as without their support, these videos that I make simply would not be possible. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and will join me again next time.